Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic, and today I'm going to be having a look at a puzzle by Tambooch called You Don't Belong, but don't worry, you do belong. If you're interested in Sudoku or puzzles generally, or frankly, if you just like listening to Simon or myself, you belong here and you're very welcome. We have a great community of nice people who pass very good comments on these puzzles. Partly because the puzzles themselves are wonderful, to be honest, but um, we'll be having a look at that in a moment. But first of all, I do want to mention the Patreon reward for this month, which is Tennis Anyone, mostly by Glum Hippo, partly by us. Um, it's on Patreon. It's open till the 20th of the month in terms of prizes, and if you're on Patreon after that, you can still have a go at it. Uh, great fun. Six totally, well, six puzzles totally different from each other and a meta, which is really very different from anything else we've we've used before. Um, great stuff by Glum Hippo, that, and we recommend it very highly, so do check that out. Um, what else have we got going? We've got all our apps. They're on the links under the video. Just go to the general current app for the gas and for the line, uh, sorry, the Domino Sudoku and the 500k pack, which is free. Um, what else? We've got our merchandise. We've got Sven's Sudoku pad. They're all on the links under the video along with the Discord server. But the first link is to this puzzle called You Don't Belong. And uh, now let's go through the rules of this and find out what we're going to be dealing with. Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we're going to put one to nine in every row, column and box. We are privileged to get two given digits today. Something we don't always get in these puzzles. Now, here come the interesting rules. Consider a digit in a cell to be X. In the region immediately around and including that cell, a maximum of nine cells. So if you've played Minesweeper, you will understand that if we were to, say, put X here, then this region of cells is the region that, that X is looking at. Um, in that region, there are a number of cells that have the same parity as X. Now, that means odd or even. If x is a 2, then this would mean that in this region, well, first of all, we don't know how many even digits are in that region. There are a number of even digits in that region. But if that number, the number of even digits in that region is equal to 2 and odd, okay, which it's not, there'll be a circle in the cell. If that number is equal to x and even, there'll be a square in the cell. So if there was a 2 in this cell, that would definitely mean that exactly two of these nine cells would be even, including the 2 itself, um, which is possible. So that might be what's going on. Um, so the circles show odd parity in that region. For this one, we're just sorry. For this one, we're just looking at four cells. For this one, we're looking at nine cells. And if the number of odd cells there is the same as this number in the middle, well, sorry. In fact, the number of odd cells in this region is the same as this number. Okay. And now, all digits from one to nine appear on either a blue circle or square. That's interesting. At least once. And all blue circles and squares are given. So that is a negative constraint. We, we know that this one does not obey the rule because there's no circle or square in it. Wow, okay. I mean, we could be looking at an awful lot of negative constraint issues here. Um, how Tambooch has managed to create this with this very symmetrical pattern of markings in the grid. You can see that's symmetrical about the positive diagonal. I don't know. That's quite weird. How's he avoided all of the other cells having a square or a circle? Wow, I don't know. Anyway, maybe we'll find out as we go along. Probably won't. Uh, do give it a try on the link under the video. Fascinating rule, mainly a negative constraint, I reckon, but let's get cracking. I'm going to start now. So, I I think we're going to end up parity colouring this grid. So my traditional colours are orange is odd, 
and blue is even, partly for the contrast, and I can remember O and O for orange and odd. I suppose the last letter of blue is an E, which starts even. Right, so we've got those definitely known at the start. Now maybe the interesting rule is that we're going to have to have one of each of the digits. Ah, no, okay, I've got something. This central cell, right, its region that it's reviewing is this region, which is a whole box. Now we know exactly what the digits in that region are. By rule, they are the numbers 1 to 9. That is not a secret. That is in the rules. Um, and the number of odd did sorry the number of even digits in that region is 4 so this is a 4 and oh look we have an odd in the center of a cell the number of odd digits in this region by rule there are 5 odd digits in 1 to 9 so that's a 5 so there we go we've started and it's a 5 in the center of the puzzle as it so often turns out to be um that doesn't really then tell us anything, because there were always going to be five odd digits in this region. It's, it's sort of totally... I don't know. I mean, I'm just completing two cells there. It's not, it doesn't give me further information, is what I'm trying to say. Right, OK. Now, the region... The region that this commands is that region. Oh, where's 9 going to go? 9 must appear in one of these odd cells. Can't appear there, it's only got 4 cells to look at. It can't appear here because there's an even cell. You know, 9 is going to have to be a whole section of odd. Can't be here because there are even cells around it. Now, that would theoretically leave these three as candidates, but this one, for these all to be odd in that region, that would mean there were six odd cells in a box, and there aren't. There can only be five odd cells in a box. So that cannot be the nine. This cannot be the nine because this region would all have to be odd. This is the nine. And suddenly we know all of these cells are odd, as implausible as that is. No, that lets us colour these, because this box now has its five odds, and it needs four evens. There they are. Um, we haven't got any other complete counts. Now, what's this going to be? It's not going to be... It's, it's an odd number. It's not one. It's not going to be three, because it's already seeing four digits in its region that are odd. It's not going to be nine, because there's one even there, at least. So that is five or seven. And either one or three of these digits are odd. Same is true here, I imagine. Yes, it can't be a three. The symmetry is working so far. And it can't be a nine because of that. doesn't really tell me much else. This can't be a 9 because it's got evens in its region. So that is 3 or 7. Now, if that was 7, we've got a problem. That's the 7 would be all of these. If they were all odd, then we've got 6 odds in row 3. That's impossible. So that is a 3 which is interestingly low. Now, only one of these five highlighted cells is odd. The others are all even. Hmm, okay, I don't know what that does. And we've now had a one, a three, a five, and a nine in these odds. Oh, this one, this one is a one because no, it could be a three. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's a one or a three. These two are the same parity. I don't know whether they're even or odd yet. This one can't be a nine because of that. It seems incredibly unlikely to be a one. For those all to be even. Okay, I'm not going to rule it out yet. How do you do... I don't know how we meant to do this puzzle, but... 
Oh look, this cell is now five or seven because it sees three, one and nine. So that's now a pair. Now we're not calculating, there's no circle in this. Well, maybe from a negative point of view, we should be calculating how many of its surroundings are odd, but I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to instead try and turn my attention to the blues. Right, one of these blues is a two, and it's not any of these because they're all in each other's vicinity. That one includes all of them in its, that one includes all of them in its vicinity, and this one has all of them. So none of those can be a two. One of these is a two and is therefore counting only its, its blue neighbor in the vicinity. That's quite strange. So if that's blue, Ah, if that's blue, all of these have to be odd, and that's again impossible because of six odds in row three. So that's not two. Interestingly, this is two, and we can surround that with odds. Oh, I like it when we get to color huge chunks of the grid in one go. Now, this is not two, but the maximum number of odd evens it can see is five, so that is a four. And two of these are even, and one is odd. Um, six and eight are down in this group. I don't know, are we going to colour the whole grid before we do most of the numbers? It's very hard to say, actually. Right, now this is up to at least four already, so it's got to be five or seven. Um, we've got a five, seven pair here. Now, is this a seven? If that was a seven, four of these would, well, no, three of these would be orange, which is kind of the maximum. All of these would be blue. Does seem to work again. Oh, we've got to get these numbers got to think about them. They're all at least four because they all have a count already of three. So these are either four, six or eight. Now we are going to need an eight. Eight is a very hard number to get in, surely. If this was eight, that's the orange cell and all of these would be blue. Oh look, I've got five oranges in box five. And that is very good. Right. Now those two are blue, so this is already up to five. It's either gonna get three blues here or one blue, and it's therefore six or eight. This, I don't know, one of these could still be a four, probably is in some ways. Oh, it's weird, do I need the negative constraint yet? No, I can't use it. I just don't have enough info around the puzzle. Now, these are 1, 3, and 5 because they're in box 3 and they're not 9 or 7 and we know they're odd. That's 3, 5, or 7. Doing a bit of Sudoku therapeutic. Um, Hmm, getting a bit stuck. These are from six, eight, and nine. Oh, but that is an odd number. Ah, of course, that's a nine, therefore. Because the, it sees one, five, seven, and three. Ah, so this is a six or eight, and it's therefore even. That is two, this is even as well, because we, oh, we had the five odds in this row. Maybe I just didn't count them. Uh, okay, but we did it now, finally, right. Now, that is four, six, or eight, so this is a triple. Um, this is two, six, or eight, and so is that. Right, this thing, ah, no. No. 
No, I don't know. One of these is odd and one is even. I've got to do something with this stuff. For one of these to be a four, it's completely surrounded by orange. That area or that area. Right, that can't be a four because this whole area can't be orange because you'd have six orange in column seven. So that's not a four. Now, that's a six, eight pair and this is a four by Sudoku. And it's not... The fact that it's not got a square means that these two aren't both orange. Not that thrilling. Now this can't be an 8, because all of these would have to be blue. In fact, if it was a 6, with these two would be blue, or these two, these four would include two blue, is what I'm trying to say. In fact, you'd know where they were. If that was a 6, this would be an 8. And all of these would be blue. Is there something stopping that happening at the moment? There probably is, and I just can't see it. Oh, bother. Right. Um, now, I've got more information about this than this, so let's just think about that. Two, yes. Four of those are orange, so either one of these is orange or three of them. It can't be all three of them because that would be six orange in the row. Yes, it's that simple. So one of these is orange and two are blue and that's a five. This is a seven. One of these is orange and two are blue. That must be orange by the count in the row. That must be blue by the count in the box and is six or eight. This is actually now naked. It sees a six, eight pair in the row and a four, and it's got to be even. So that's a two, and that isn't. The two in that row is there. Um, ah, now, this seven doesn't have a circle. I might finally manage to use the negative constraint here. This seven doesn't have a circle, and that means, given that it's got six odds in its vicinity already, that it's not true to say that exactly one of these is odd. And yet, one of them must be even at least. I think they are both even now to stop that having a circle. I think that must be right. That's odd. This is a 6-8 combo. Wow, this is a strange, strange old puzzle. Five that I got has made that a five. Ah, oh, that fixes a seven into this circle. And that's going to need three of these to be orange and only one of them to be blue so all of these three are suddenly blue in the box that's really interesting um six eight five and i'm not actually having to do quite as much negative constraint work as i was worried about this is a seven nine pair that's just what's left in the box. Now, this is already seeing six blue. So these are the same colour. We've had two, six and eight. The only even digit along here is a four. Could this be a four and all of those be odd? Yes, that is possible. What about this then? Five or seven? I don't know. Some of these might interact with each other, but it's a bit difficult to see how that's actually working at the moment. I just need to do a bit more, I don't know, Sudoku or something. Two's in one of those cells because it can't be in these. Or do I need to find another old negative... Those aren't very interesting from that point of view. I, I do want to know if this is a five or a seven. I don't know, there's no way of telling for me. 
This is one three or nine. That's not interesting. Um, oh, this is a three, and it's got all its three. Oh, it's just that. It's just spotting what's going on. Now, this four has all its four blue. In fact, all the blue are done in row three. All the blue are done in box two. Oh, it's so straightforward suddenly. Well, except it wasn't because I didn't see it all. Right, now, that is done, that is done, that is done, that is done. That, that, and that are all done. So these are the five. Well, I don't have to worry about the four. That is going to be fulfilled, however it works. Okay. Um, what next? This would be a seven if it was a circle. That's not interesting. Three, seven, nine, five has to be in one of those two. No, uh, don't try and do Sudoku. Try and do the rule a bit more. What am I meant? To... Oh, there was going to be a one in one of the circles, that bit of the rule. So that's obviously the one down here. So those are blue. Why don't I read all the rules? We've had one, three, five, seven, nine. We've had two, four. One of these is an eight, and one of these, well, one of them is also a six by Sudoku. So I actually don't have to worry about that anymore either. So that, that bit of the rule is done. This is a two because it sees a six, eight pair in the column and a four in the box. This is six or eight. They, they don't matter from the point of view of the rule. I don't think. Have we fulfilled any four blues? Yes, in this column. These have to be orange. In this column, one of these is blue and is a two. Ah, that orange has affected this a bit. Has it? Maybe not. These could still be all orange, couldn't they? Actually, it's getting a bit more likely. For that to be a six, at least one of these would be blue. Oh, this can't be the eight. Oh, this is very obvious. All of these would be blue, and this couldn't be a six anymore. That would have to be an eight as well by the rule. So that can't be the eight. That's the six, and that tidies up all those even cells. Now that is a four in blue, so those are all orange to hem it in. This six, oh no, the eight gives us two blues here. And in fact, it could tidy up quite a lot of Sudoku. We might find we're going well now. That's a four. They're both orange. Uh, this six has got all its blues, so that's orange. Um, that's orange because this column needs two more oranges. This, we must know, it's blue and it's two. This is therefore eight and blue. That's eight in box two. This is a two, four, six triple. That eight has sorted out this cell, which is six. I love that it all comes together very quickly when you actually do get a little bit of purchase on this. This is blue. I'm just gonna put two or eight at the moment. I don't think I know better. Now, negative constraint, this can't be a two because it would get a square in its, in its cell because it only sees two. So that is not where two goes. Two goes here. Uh, sorry, that was meant to be a full two like that. This is six or eight because it sees a four. That makes a pair in the column. This is two. Um, uh, I might be missing other negative constraint things, but they're hard to spot. I'm not really bothered about that. These would both be odd numbers of even cells around them, so they don't deal with that. This one fixes a three here. That one fixes a five. Now, we've already got six cells in this vicinity, so that's a seven. One of these is orange and one is blue. That's going to be the last blue in the box, and these are both orange. That has become a six. This last blue in the box is an eight. Feels likely it's in row seven, but I don't know that yet. 
Um, that's not done. Don't think any of those have a negative constraint. That's not a two. Now, where else can we put something in? One of these is blue. That is not a circled five. No, not interesting. That's not a three by Sudoku. So there is a three here, and there is a three in one of these cells. Ooh, that's almost interesting. Oh, that is interesting. Right, if this is an orange three, this isn't allowed to be orange because the count of odd cells around that would be three. So then eight would be here. But if that's not a three, this is three, and then eight has to be here. So either way, eight ends up being here. That's a neat thing. So those are both orange at the top of that column. This is orange in this box and not eight. Uh, there's a six in one of these two, and a four in one of these two, and an eight in one of those. Two of those are in this column. Now, just four cells to do. We've got five oranges, I think, in row two. So those are blue. Oh, that's in the north corner. That's blue, and that's orange in the corner. Now, I've got more cells to do down here, and I don't know what to do with them. So we're back on to Sudoku. That seems to be a four. Might be able to finish off even digits, and that would actually help considerably. That's a six. That's a four, six, two. Yes, four and eight. Six and eight. Now, six has to be here, eight has to be here, and four has to be there. So those are all suddenly finished off. I can make those orange and those blue. And that's coloured the whole, not only coloured the whole grid, but I filled in all the even cells as well. So now I'm probably going to have to find some other Funky, oh no, seven can't go there. Maybe we can just do it by Sudoku from here. That would be lovely, but I, I imagine I'm going to have to find another, another funky um, negative constraint item. That's a nine. I'm going to put off looking for the negative constraint items because they scare me. Um, now, here, oh, nine is looking at this cell now. That's good. These are from 137. These are from 135. These are from 359. And this is 5 or 9. And up here, keep pencil marking. 7 is in one of those. 1 is in one of those. 5 could be almost anywhere, annoyingly. I don't think I have any constraints on three. And then nine is somewhere in the top two rows. Okay, that probably wasn't the best bit of pencil marking. Maybe if I could just quickly find a big negative constraint jobby, that would be great. Look, this one can't be a five. There you go, because those five would be counting. So that is a three. Now, that might help things. Let's see. Those can't have a three in. That can't have a three in. I don't think that did everything that I wanted it to do. Um, neither of those look like negative candidates. Uh, this one, no, that's touching four. Oh, bother. Um, one or th it's hard. Oh, look, this one can't be a five as well. Same, very similar shape actually to that one. So that's not allowed to be five. So the five in this box is here. That might make a bit of a difference. Um, one of those is a one. One of these is a seven, and one of those is a seven. In fact, that's a three seven pair. So that's not three in the corner. That's a one seven pair. That's nice. That gives me a five here. Um, 
I might still have to find one more negative constraint cell. That's annoying. I was really hoping it was over now. Um, I don't know. It's not easy to spot anymore for me. They're not relevant. That's not relevant. Nor's that. No, no. May at some point I'm going to be able to do it by Sudoku and it might be that I'm just not realizing that I've reached that point. They have even numbers. That would be a five. Let me just look to that. That would be four. That would be five. This would just be two. That would... Ah, this isn't allowed to be a three. That can't do it, can it? Doesn't feel like it can, but it's certainly true that that can't be a three. It might also be true that that's the last possible... No, this is the last possible negative constraint. That is not allowed to be a three for this region. Oh, okay, that'll do it. Seven there, one there. Not just because I actually think I've tested them all out now, but because I think that is enough to get us home. We get three and one there. This becomes a nine. We finish box one. Nine, one, that's a three. That goes down. Now there's suddenly very few cells left to do. One, three, five, nine pair gets sorted in columns one and three. And there we go. That is the puzzle. And we are done. That's brilliant, isn't it? You don't belong, Tambooch. You belong in the panoply of our setters. What a fabulous puzzle. That's really interesting. Um, kind of feel we've done things a bit like it before but not in that manner not with that much negative constraint and it's it's very well put together i'm just going to remove the coloring so i can briefly admire the um oh it's a bit difficult to see the blue cells the, the blue squares and circles with numbers in the grid but i did like the symmetry and i did notice it at the beginning good stuff thank you for having a go at that thank you for watching us on the channel Thank you for being with us at all, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.